Do you want to know how to take better close-up images using a compact camera like a Panasonic TZ100? Let's do it in our guide. Here we can see the widest angle. The magnification is not very good. And this is the maximum. But there is a way how to achieve a larger magnification. So let's zoom a little bit. You can see it as the last position where it has 0.05 meters. Yeah, it should be around 44 millimeters here. This is the best magnification you can get from this camera. You can see that we have to go a little bit further, but the magnification is much better. The second sweet spot when you can get uh, also quite large uh, magnification is on the last position when you have the 0.01 here. So it's 67 millimeters here. Again, we have to go a little bit further. And it's also quite nice. What is the advantage? You can see it blurs the background quite well. And there is not many things here. If you have the wide angle, you can see the whole room here. So this is probably not what you want. So how to recognize these sweet spots at your camera? First of all, you should know our camera well. Let's look at the review at the Digimania.cz where we have the review of the TZ100. And in the second chapter, there is uh, there are the graphs which are showing us the minimum focusing distance and the maximum magnification. So here you can see the minimum focusing distance. If we are at the macro mode, here is the sweet spot and here is the second one. When you can see that you are keeping the same minimum focusing distance for quite a long time, for quite a big zoom. And this is how it translates to magnification. When you are here at the widest angle available, you are getting just 0.5, it's not too much. But if you zoom a little bit, you can get to 0.7, which is here. It's much better and you have a narrower uh, field of view. Second sweet spot is here, where you have approximately 0.55. Let's try to apply this on a plant which does not look very photogenic. Here is the widest angle of view and we achieve not a very large magnification here. So let's zoom a little bit to the 44 millimeters. It's too much. And now we can see that the object is much larger. We can play with the composition a little bit, change the position of the autofocus point and use a blurred foreground to make it a little bit more interesting. The image is a little bit dark, so we can use the exposure compensation to make it a little bit brighter. I have used one EV here. Much better now. So here we have the comparison of all the images. You see the wide angle, zooming, change of the composition and change of the exposure to make it brighter. So here is the another scene. This is with the wide angle. So this is the image. And now we'll zoom a little bit to get a larger magnification and better detail. In comparison of these two images, wide angle and zoom. Using wide angle has its own problems. You can see not very optimal optical quality and you are also casting shadows on the object. Here is the same thing using the different composition, so it's better. Now with a little bit of zoom, and with a better exposure so it's brighter. You can see the problems of the wide angle here as well. You can see there is a lot of background which is not needed. And the magnification is not very big so let's try to do some zoom and make it a little bit larger. A small change in composition won't hurt. It will be a clean and tidy now. So here are the images. You can see the background which is not necessary or bad optical quality when you are using the wide angle and this is with the zoom. 
it's much better. This is the last scene showing the capabilities of Lumix TZ100. If we are talking about TZ200, that camera has a sweet spot at around 37mm. So it's not such a good one. And here are some sample photos. 